Hey YouTube, um, want to make a little video on the new uh, record I hit. Thanks to you guys on sharing the whole project. We've actually, as of 15 minutes ago, we were sitting at 1,001 subscribers. Probably by the time I upload this video, probably be more. But um, just want to share a little video on what I'm going to be doing um, and other other things oh the screen went black um, I want to see get input from you guys and what kind of other videos you guys like to see because I am working on OpenStack and if you guys have been asking me and I actually have OpenStack running on an ES6i so you're <laughs> virtual on top of a virtual how funny is that but um it's running on one of the R810s, and I believe it's this one. Can't remember off the top of my head. Um, they've been doing very well. They take workloads with no problem. Um, this one I use for more for high computing area. Area like I have around six to seven uh, high density, uh, high density, uh, high computing uh, VMs. I have a couple of game servers in this one, database server, um, vCenter, which is on this SSD. So this one is more of the uh, workload. That's why it's a little bit less taxed. This one has the rest of my VMs. Um, these are both set up in HA, so if you guys are wondering. And we'll include a Q&A in the video as well. Um, so yeah, people that are just watching the channel from the beginning, this, these are my two hosts. Um, approximate power usage. For both of them, for everyone to see. We're doing it live, so you can see it. 3.30. 3.34. Uh, my backup server, I have a key, I'm have keeping it off right now. I mean, it doesn't do backups as much. Um, I have backups going onto a... Uh, probably can't see it. Nope. I have a, a 2 terabyte external drive that I back up over USB that's more critical. I use a server just to replicate storage from here to there if I ever need to upgrade this or do some work on the SAN. Um, this is a free NAS SAN. Um, has 32 gigabytes of RAM. It has two Xeon E, no, two Xeon X 5560s in here. I've got the Perk 710. People that have uh, issues installing free NAS does not support uh, pass through JBOD, so you have to set up each drive as a RAID 0. People don't understand it, but once in the end, you create all these drives in RAID 0, you combine them back into Freenos to a uh, RAID Z2 with ZFS. So that's pretty much it. That I do have a backup system. People keep asking me what I use. I have two EN UPSs this is a 2000 VA, and this is a 1500. Um, both of these run more than plenty just for three servers. I had people ask me about my 2960, if I still have it. Yes, it is running my uh, home portion of the network, still configuring it. As well, you can see my Ether channel is not set up for this one, but it is for this one. And uh, next thing is to set up the SFP. I just installed this recently last night, so I got all the desktops, laptops. We got the PoE access points from Ubiquity as well plugged in here. This switch is not PoE, I have to use PoE injectors. Um, here is my edge router. As some of you know, this is my portion of my core network along with my switches in the back. My link comes in here. This is the connectivity for a friend of mine, Virtual Olivia. If you want to check out his channel on the right hand side, subscribe to him. He's a uh, Cisco engineer. He's a uh, CCIE is pretty cool. He's my, pretty much my best friend. They always talk day to day. And uh, this is my setup for my home side. So you kind of have a setup uh, split up for two different reasons. But that's the front side of the rack. And here's the rear. So we got the two 3750Gs. Uh, Catalyst, and yes, these are stacked. 
I will show you guys. I'm messy fiber off the cable here. There is my stacking cable. That is a 38 gigabit per second uh, pipe stacking these two switches, which is much faster than SFP. There's that. And if anyone wondering what this case is, this server rack case, well not a case, but rack, it is a net shelter APC Dell 24U. And this is my exhaust fan setup for the heat coming out. So yes, it is warm air, about a temperature right now. It's probably around 70, 72, 70. Um, we have each server, which is these two, going to each its own switch. So I have ASXI host one and the second one. And then I have the NYX being shared. So I have two sets of NYX going to this one, two sets going to that one. So this is more of an HA setup. So if one switch fails, my network is still up. Um, next I'm setting up HA with my fiber optics, which I'm still working on. Um, there's my two terabyte Western Digital for my backups. And this is uh, what people have been asking me. This is my 10 gigabit uh, SAN network. It is a private network which is not being seen by the internet, nor it's accessible through any uh, IP address within any of these switches. This is a direct connect setup. So I have my Dell PowerEdge R510 via a Intel X520 PCIe dual 10 gigabit SFP and the twin X cable is what I'm using. I could use fiber optic if I wanted to. Is going to both of these posts. So that's that. I do have iDirect Enterprise enabled and set up on both servers. Um, so I also have a virtual router and a virtual firewall built in. I don't really use too much of the routing since the ubiquity. But I am using PFSense, which I have set up on a dedicated PCIe uh, NIC. And the red is come is WAN, and the blue is WAN. And it goes back up into here for the WAN. And this one is my VoIP system, which is UMA. I like it a lot. This is an extra. And these ones are just for extra connectivity. These are my... Uh, IDREX. So all these three here are IDREX and these three are, are actually two are IDREX and these ones are for the R510 which is my backup server. And there is the back of the UPS back setup. Got to get out those fans once in a while. And got my PDUs. Um, yeah. So that's kind of a video of that. Um, also guys, if you are creating a website just for this project, it is at gnetdatacenter.com. Um, I'll be opening up the form pretty soon, so you guys can uh, uh, create, share um, what you guys have built. Uh, I like to make this more of like a social uh, network just for a data center project because I don't see much forms about having your own little home server, home data center, so that's what I'm going to be uh, setting up, and most of it's already up and running, so if you guys want to do that, and also, if you guys want to like my Facebook page, it is a GNET Data Center on Facebook, I will be posting more information about the giveaway I'll be doing, and it could be a couple SSDs, and it could be something else, it will not be a server, because it's going to cost more to ship that than anything else, um, if you guys want... Uh, to go on there and uh, like the page and stay tuned that'd be awesome other than that uh, stay tuned for uh, next few updates and yes we have OpenStack setup going on these RA10s since I've actually fully tested it on an R710 and I implemented it to here just to save overall power and just all that kind of stuff um, one last thing the cost to run this rack from here all the way up to here and the front side too all the switches 
it is $40 a month, not including the regular utility bill, just for the house. So, other than that, it's pretty much cheaper than Amazon Web Services to actually have your own uh, rack. But yes, my website is not hosted on this. It is actually hosted on AWS due to more security reasons than actually geolocations. Um, I would love to host my own website and form on these servers, but with people and their DDoS attacks and all the fun stuff, spoofing and injections, SQL injections, attacks, you name it, I will be hosting it on there. So that's the reason. But other than that, uh, stay tuned, like, subscribe, share the videos, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks. Bye-bye.